players, it's the homie C-Rod, and today we got a special announcement from Bandai, and uh, we got like a special surprise with uh, the release of these new Majin cards. What I mean by Majin cards, I mean Bobbity or Bibbity has came back and has gotten their special M sign, oops, M sign, uh, and uh, they just slapped it on everyone's forehead. That's pretty much what's happening here. So we got pretty cool freaking characters that got the new Majin sign spraced all upon their forehead right here. And uh, it's freaking tight. So first things first, we're going to start it off with Vegeta. But it's not just regular Majin Vegeta, guys. It's Super Saiyan 3 Majin Vegeta. Believe it or not, that's actually a thing, at least in Dragon Ball Super Card Game. And uh, who knows, it might become canon if it's popular enough. I doubt it though, but we got Vegeta, Agent of Destruction, and uh, this artwork, I gotta give it 10 out of 10, this thing looks freaking tight, top notch, Bandai is killing it with the art, and uh, let's dissect what this card does, so this card right here, what this card does is, well, it's a Vegeta card, so you could run it in a Vegito deck if you will, and if you want, you know, and then it's a special trait, it's considered a Saiyan card, and slash agent of destruction which is a new special trait so who knows this new agent of destruction might change you know the way the game is played and uh, maybe there's some more agent of destruction cards to be released in the future but this vegeta uh what he does is when you play this card right choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with 25k power or less and ko it so this guy is an instant ko -er. when he comes in he blows up something and turns it into nothingness just like how the red original majin vegeta blew up boo but unfortunately boo just came back to life and uh yeah also on top of that auto that when he comes into play he kills something he also has uh, activate main effect that once per turn use one blue energy and one non-specific energy and if your leader is a red leader this card gains 10k power and double strike and dual attack for the duration of the turn so this guy is a freaking strong card i would definitely add this to the Ve uh, vegeto deck for sure or any red deck that runs a little bit of blue in there so this one is specifically looking for a blue red type of deck and it's freaking awesome uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this Vegeta agent of destruction and they're considered a new type of rare guys they're considered destruction rare or otherwise known as DR so another destruction rare card that we got is Janimba man look at this Janimba man he's beast in the movie and he's beast in the card game as well look at the artwork guys the artwork speaks for itself but this Janimba agent of change with the new Majin sign in his forehead I should get a Majin 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 hat just for this video low-key but uh what this what this um Janimba does is uh he's uh, also a special trait evil incarnate and agent of destruction special trait and uh, he has critical like all the other Janimbas and let's see if this Janimba mills your deck like the other Janimbas let's find out right now so I'm gonna read it to you guys activate skill activates this skill when you play this card from your hand or warp area so you can play it off of you know the the Janimba plays at the end of the turn if it is your turn choose one of your energies and switch it to active mode so I guess when this guy comes into play you get to switch a card back to active mode uh, one of your energies right and then he has an activate main this is the actual main effect send this card to the warp draw one card then your opponent places three cards from the top of their deck in the drop area beautiful more deck destruction capabilities with this card if you're ha if you have a janimba deck this card is a must to have you're gonna want to get this card 120,000 percent or over 9,000 percent you want this card in your janimba deck this card right here is freaking beast so you're gonna want to get that guy so let's move on another section of the you know agents of change is the namekians yup the namekians got a uh, agent of destruction agent of change sorry that's something else <laughs> a agent of destruction lord slug so uh 
this Lord Slug is freaking powerful. Uh, I think I'm about to read it. Honestly, I haven't even read the cards. I'm just talking out of my butt right now. But uh, let's see what this hap what this Lord Slug Agent of Destruction does. So he's a Namekian Slug's army, and of course the special trait Agent of Destruction. And when you play this card, your opponent chooses one card from their hand, places it in the drop area. So it's looking like it's gonna be hand destruction. So your freaking hand is gonna get you know obliterated. And then activate main. This is what you know takes this card off once per turn one green energy required choose one slug army card from your hand with an energy cost of three or less other than lord slug agent of destruction and play it so it's looking like it's gonna allow you to play the lord slug i mean lord slug slugs army um you know henchmen in order to get the engine going off and have a little bit extra pressure very much needed for the you know lord slug engine and it's looking like bandai actually might have seen my video where i mentioned please give us more lugs lord slug uh support because they are giving us lord slug support freaking awesome i like how uh, bobbity is like in the background of all the cards you know that's pretty freaking funny i think and then another card that we have is android 13 freaking tight he also got that freaking m slapped in his forehead and uh this guy he is uh you know an android special trait android 13 you know he's gonna come in there and just suck you in that you know what and he's gonna do some damage with a critical attack because he has critical and for two energy non-specific energy so any color energy you have choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and ko it so for two energies you ko something he's a three drop so he can't, he's not gonna be that hard to play then your opponent chooses one card in their hand place it in the drop area freaking good all right skill so he's a critical he pops something and he makes your opponent discard one card very tight looking card right here uh then we got bojack i'm guessing this bojack is gonna be very very useful for you know obviously the bojack leader that's coming out and the bojack deck which looks like a lot of fun and expect the bojack versus super saiyan 2 gohan battle so i want to say hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our epic battle so we got bojack agent of change and what this guy does is um uh, when you play this card, choose one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier, and switch it to rest mode. So, like, the Bojack leader, if you guys don't know, is he works well off of, like, destroying things in rest mode. So, uh, this guy puts things in rest mode, and then he has an activate main for two energies. If this card is in rest mode, choose your opponent's leader card. Switch it to rest mode, and it cannot be switched to active mode until the end of your opponent's next turn. This guy's freaking good. Not only does he, like, uh, make a card go to rest mode on your opponent's side and keeps it in rest mode, that's a battle card. He also makes your opponent's leader card be in rest mode. So that's freaking good because it stops your opponent from drawing because they can't attack. Like, if they have the auto, when they attack, they draw. It stops them from doing that play. And this guy is freaking amazing. And he's only a 3-drop. This Bojack is a must. So, that's going to be the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think about these new uh, type of rare, the Destruction Rare cards. Which one do you guys want to get? I already know from reading all of these right now, I want Bojack for sure. I w really want Bojack. Or my second one, it's uh, Janimba. I want Janimba also. Janimba looks freaking strong. Or obviously the og majin vegeta super saiyan 3 you know that guy's freaking tight looking so all these new cards are freaking hype and if you guys didn't know i'm happy to be the one to inform you and i want to say like this video for more informative type of videos like this one and um Subscribe if you guys are new here for more super content and become a super player And don't forget you could also pop one of our super sweaters from our website in the description And uh, that's gonna be it like comment subscribe and like we always say y'all stay super All right, here he is good now Let's get the semifinals underway Let the hey, match. aren't you going to interview me? Aren't you? Oh, uh, well, there's no time. Hmm? Nonsense, give huh? me that. Hey! I'm Jackie! Droguen por setas y mil seguidores es una de nuestra meta. Recuerda si pegas a bomba, yo me voy a ir super vegeta.
todos los Saiyans se mueven y vayan a agarrar las Saiyans y todos los Saiyans se mueven y vayan y agarrar las Saiyans ya yeah. Here you go thanks <laughs>